Hello everybody, this is just a quick little video, um, a little pop-up video. I'm still going to go live tonight with my usual Wednesday night crafting video, um, but I, I just wanted to pop in here quickly because some people have been asking recently how I store certain things. So I thought I'd come on and show you how I store my dies and my designer paper. So, uh, yeah, so I'm in my craft room right now. Let me just switch my... Here we go. Okay, so I, I know a lot of people like to store their dies in with the stamp set, but I find it so much, so much better for me personally uh, to store them on on the wall on the wall that way I can see everything because sometimes you'll get a die that is um, from another set that you can use with you know that you can interchange with other sets um, and if they're in the case then I completely forget about them so I have a big a big framed piece right here uh, where I've got a lot of my dies. And some of them I put on um, on magnet sheets on here, so that when I'm so that if I'm doing a video and I want to show the dies, I have I can just take this over. Or when the the dies retire, um, I will put them back in with the stamp set if they go with the stamp set, and it's it's right here on the on the case. So that's what I do with that. So yeah, and then this this one here is for like basic dies and that kind of thing. And I have a few extras that I've cut out and um, I might use on a on a project. Oh, sorry, the shadow. And then this one up here's got just got some basic um, shapes too. Let me just take this, put this away, like here. Okay, that's better. <laughs> Yeah, so, and this is my die cutting table or shelf. So I have my two mini cutting and boss machines here. I have all the plates here and I have this space I can do my die cutting. Uh, yeah, so that's, oh, and I also have a, a trimmer here on the wall um, to have here and I have a bigger trimmer on my cart here. Yeah, so, and then I also wanted to show you how I store my designer series paper. So I cut it up into four by six and I put it in the these stamp cases and I just label them with my little label maker. Um, so I know what's on, what I've got. These are my stamps. These are all current stamps. Um, what else would I want to show you? Oh yeah, back over here. <laughs> the the brand new paper that I get, like that just came out, I put in here, I haven't cut up yet. Um, I cut it up when I'm sure I'm not going to do anything uh, that requires a 12 by 12. Like this piece right here. <laughs> this is a great scrapbooking page. That would be great for scrapbooking. But um so I don't cut that up right away. Anyway, um, anything else I want to show you here? I, I basically just wanted to show you how I store my designer series paper. Let's come over here to my desk. And I have my, um, I have my cardstock in these containers, in these filing cabinets which I want to find a different, um, a different because they're getting harder and harder to pull out. Uh, so I wanted, I need to find another option for that. So yeah, this is my desk. And uh, let me just turn this around. Yeah. So um, that's just a, a quick little pop-up video today just to show you how I store a few of my things. Okay, thank you, and I'll see you tonight at 7 o'clock when I go live. Okay, bye.